this movie has kind of everything. It's got like, you know, it's got romance, you know, it's yeah. got fun, it's got adventure, it's got big action set pieces, it's got, you know, it's got kind of everything that you want in a theater experience. That's the jerk Poopy got with when she was on a break from Jonathan. I could never be with someone like him. This girl's a disaster. Stop! Lynn, congratulations on this new film. I have to say that I cried and laughed at the same time. Oh, so. that's good. The laugh cry. That's that's what rom coms are about. <laughs> and, yeah. And also, uh, thank you for making me believe in love again. So. Oh, I, good. I, I really needed this film. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. I think I think it's um it's a really nice way to like leave the the theater feeling romantic. I think it's a good it's a good yeah, way to be. Yeah, totally. And this uh, leads me to my first question, which is, what are the ingredients for a rom com, and what makes uh, anything but anyone but you different from others? You know, I think the ingredients to a good rom-com are two people that you, because really the essence of a rom-com is two people that run away from love, but you want to force them back together. And I think, um, I think, you know, Sydney is, is such a fun person to do that every day with, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And then I think, I think the reason why people are, are just responding to this movie in general is like, you know, rom-coms are really about the, it, this movie has kind of everything. It's got like, you know, it's got romance, you know, it's yeah. got fun, it's got adventure, it's got big action set pieces, it's got, you know, it's got kind of everything that you want in a theater experience. And I, I just like really love how audiences are just really responding to it. You know, they're having a blast in the theater again, which is yeah. um, something we had on Top Gun. And I feel like it's something here where I get to kind of just sit and watch people enjoy this movie that much and dance leaving the theater, it's awesome. Maybe we should just tell everyone we're together. What? It would solve that problem for me and you clearly want Margaret. We've seen you do these all kind of stunts and, and the movie has like the helicopter swimming in the sharkiest waters of Australia. Yeah. Do you really enjoy this adrenaline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do. I think that's one of the, the my favorite parts about, about making movies is that you know, I get to do things on camera that very few people get to do. And, um, you know, again, jumping out of a helicopter oh. and running up to Sydney Opera House, that's such a joy. And getting to swim with sharks and, and, and play with dangerous spiders. And, and, you know, it's like, it's all such a joy, you know? And, and I think that's, for me, you know, you get one life to live and, and you might as well go full throttle. Why you know? not? Why not? <laughs> Showtime. Permission to put my left hand on your right buttock. Granted, not a magic lamp. Hey, little guy. Oh, God damn it. And now, um, one thing I learned from the movie is that both in fiction and in real life, you need to realize on time whether you love or not that person. So I would like to know, like, what are the green flags in a relationship or, or in, in a person uh, to not let go of the love of your life and then regret it? So you're saying, what are the green flags? Like, what are the, hey, go after this girl? Yeah, don't let it go. Don't let it go. I think someone who um, loves their family and loves their friends, mm -hmm. I think is a, a important quality to me. I think someone who finds adventure is super important, who's spontaneous, who's adventurous. Um, and I think loves to laugh. I think, I think those are probably, life can be hard enough, you know, life's inevitably gonna, gonna throw curveballs at you and, and, and gnarly, horrible things happen, but at the same time, somebody who can lock arms with you and, and, and find the brightness in life, I think is really important. Yeah, I totally agree. And finally, since I watched the movie, I cannot stop singing Unwritten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I need to know what yeah. is actually your serenity song. I think I've realized this after, because I, you know, a, a friend asked me, they, they made me, um, they asked me to make a Serenity song playlist. Okay. Um, I actually should post this. I think I'm gonna post this yeah, playlist. Please. It's a really good playlist. Good uh, but my favorite on there is uh, Enrique Iglesias' Hero. Mm, that's amazing. <laughs> Solid song. Well, Glenn, uh, thank you very much for, yeah. uh, for this film. I really enjoyed it and hope to see you back here in Mexico again. I'll definitely be back. I appreciate it. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Titanic me. Are they watching? Are they doing Titanic? They're gone. Show's over. Oh my God.